We come now to the quick step. The champagne amongst the dances. Now the thing is to make it champagne, it has to be light and fresh. Quick step is the dance of the feet and the ankles. Now Bill used to compare a good quick step dancer to two complete different personalities. One was the boxer Muhammad Ali, who was using his ankles and feet for faster reaction, which we need in quick step to react both to musical impulses as well as to our environment. Other couples going out of trouble reacting to also the floor size. Therefore, we need to have a very fast reactive ankle and foot. A good quick step choreography consists of three complete different parts. One is the original quick step, the swing and sway quick step. Quick step as a dance is based on a step called the chasse. Now the chasse comes in several pictures. We might have quarter turns, which is the original one, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Or like it is danced today, it's the first half of the quarter turns and the progressive chasse. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We do have a chasse reverse turn, slow, quick, quick. Or we do have a progressive chasse to the right, slow, quick, quick, slow. We have a triple chassis, quick, quick, slow, a tipsy, quick and quick, quick and quick. It's all different kinds of chassis, or, for instance, the cross chassis. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. All these steps are the base of the quick step. Now, a good chassis, of course, is danced where the closing of the feet happens rather fast in order to create time for us. So we would have slow, quick, quick, slow. So we never ever hesitate the closing foot. Slow, quick, quick, slow, because that would stop our body weight and we would look heavy. A very common amalgamation is a natural spin turn, a chasse, and a quick open reverse turn. Finishing probably with another progressive chasse. And we're going to watch how that looks with the correct rhythms of slows and quicks and the lightness of the chassis when William and Alessandra do as a little bit of basic quick step. The second group of movements we have in the quick step are bounced movements. Now here in the bounced movements we have to definitely make clear which kind of rhythm we want to dance because it changes our technique of how we're doing it. We use our toes and ankles. Now through the compression from our body weight to the toe, we store energy in our shin bones and in our calves. We need these energy to get us the light jumps that we have. So we store the energy in the lower part of the legs. If we have a toe step, now there is no rule in the technique book. Now, according to Bill Irvin, a step hop should be danced on toe, on the ball of the foot. Now his main idea was, first of all, it makes the dance look light. The second idea is, it is a very clear information for the lady to follow. If in the competition a man chooses to improvise, and he lowers on the step before, the lady has an indication of a swinging movement, but if he stays on the same level and goes with his toe and does a step hop, she will understand this is a jumping variation. Now we have several forms of scatter chassis. The scatter chassis are the chassis from the polka going across the floor. One is the fast scatter chassis and the rhythm quick, a quick, a slow. The quick, a quick chassis don't have any kind of up and down, they go on one level across the floor and because of the timing quick a quick, 
they are not closing the feet. The feet is just going closer to the standing foot. So what we have then would be quick, a quick, a step hop, quick, a quick, a step hop, quick, a quick, a step hop. If we do have a slow, a slow rhythm, we absorb extra into the knees. So we would go and slow, a slow, a slow. And in this case, we can have a closing of the feet. The step hop itself is like a kind of a pivot, but in the air. So the man would do a step hop, close his foot, and has a moment in the air. So we, he would have step hop, step hop, quick and quick and step hop, quick and quick and step hop, quick and quick and step hop. Gives a very clear rhythmic idea. And we have a combination which is called the pepper pot. The name pepper pot coming from a certain rhythm. It is a double lock or a chassis lock, which is quick, a quick, quick, quick. Nice finish to any form of scatter chassis. And that would be the rhythm pepper pot, quick, quick, slow. So the real fast part is only the beginning of that step to be able to fade out with the speed and being able to dance a natural turn. Quick, a quick, 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 slow, quick, quick, slow. Now this is a very important part as quick step is about rhythmical interpretation and it is the most rhythmical of the swing ballroom dances. The clear rhythm is very important. And now we have the pleasure of seeing William and Alessandra in an amalgamation of the just explained steps, the bounced movements. <laughs> The last family of variations we do have is what we call the trick steps. Now the trick steps have a very, very clear history. The other personality that Bill Irvin spoke about as a big, big example for quick step is the Hollywood dancer Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire, of course, was a master of tap dancing, a master of dancing in general. Now in that time, tap dancing was very, very popular because it was a way of producing rhythm with your own body and making it audible for the people to hear. Now if you would imagine that every time you transfer weight from one foot to the other, it would be audible to the quick step audience. It would be quite noisy instead of rhythmical. That was the whole idea. Thinking about quick step also, I had the saying from Bill, actually originally from Major Eric Hancock, that in the quick step you have to have ragdoll legs. That goes actually together with the image of Fred Astaire. If you think about a tap dancer, he has very loose legs to make it easy. Now in the trick steps, what we try to do is, through several kind of combination, it is a kind of imitation of a tap dancer. So what was invented originally were toe taps, pendulum steps or pendulum steps forward, which was called the scissors, and all these kind of steps, even the Charleston, which was a fashion dance of the 20s, has been included in the quick step to give it a little bit of a freshness and also, of course, to have alternatives to the basic swinging steps. So quick step, through all these three kind of families, swing and sway, bounce variations and trick steps, is practically the most interesting choreographical dance we have in the ballroom dances. Let's see a few of the trick steps when William and Alessandra perform it. So hopefully you found out that quick step is a very rhythmical dance. In order to get the coordination within your body, Bill had a fabulous exercise for all his pupils. He definitely made it with me. He wanted me to have coordinated legs. Again, the comparison to 
a boxer. He wanted that my legs move everywhere at the same time and the power of two legs at the same time give me the power to dance a quick step. So he wanted me to dance with an elastic band around my legs. Can I ask you to bring me an elastic band? So I tried to get in this and try to demonstrate for you what I used to do. Now actually, if the coordination is correct, there should be no extra action in the top. Thank you very much. Cheers. And let's try some quick step with music. <laughs> 